Right, well, I'll tell him that. I'll, t I'll tell him, I'll tell him uh, that you got to wait around. That's what happened. It takes a long time for you to come on. It ring, it rings, it rings. Yeah, until after a while, until after a half a minute or a minute. It's like a delay, a uh, delay. <laughs> yeah, now those fellas are all, all, all going good up there. They want to, they want to push things along now. And I think I think we have to do something. I'm, I'm writing something up now for the, uh, the for, to, for you to give to the the, the, the the bloody ship when it comes. It's a notice. It's a notice from us, huh? Yeah, yeah. Just before then, we'll, we'll, we'll meet, and those fellows up there will meet at the same time. The directives, you see, because we didn't do these things inside that marae. Uh, uh, at Waitangi, so we couldn't. Uh, in, uh, we, we have to uh, enforce it before, before, before then. Uh, but we already got, we already done that in, on the fifteenth, uh, uh, Jim. You know they're right. They're, they're all right. They're, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so they, yeah, no, so, so, so they've opened the fucker meaning of that. That goes with the marae, you see. So, so when, 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 when Kingy and I went in, and 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 Hohepa went in the Waitangi marae, it opened it up for business. So, so now it's just a confederation to stamp. We can, we can carry on ahead without going back in there again. I'm told the the sixth of February when John Key has to go in there, and then we get him in there at the same time in the court hearing. So, so Mana, uh, uh, Manahi uh, Tangairi, uh, he's, a, he's a proper native court judge down there in, uh, uh, in Matatua. He was there at the Hui when I went there. And, um, and yeah, yeah, he, he was, he, he'll conduct the hearing, the native court hearing, inside the Waitangi Marae on the 6th of February when John Key walks in, right? So that's what we, I'm writing it up. I'm writing it up so that you, you, you all know when, what to do when we go in there. Those fellas on the Tomata already know that, what, what I'm doing. That's, that's that proclamation I gave them. They have to get their head around it. It's, it's a done deal. Yeah, the Tomata is, is, is ill-informed. They, they, they can't just pick it up and own it. They can't pick it up and own it without what, what you've gone through all these years in, in, in that side of the flag. It's the flag and, and, and what it did, not, not what it, it's trying to do. Yeah, it's just past now, huh? Yeah, so so you were in the right place on Kura Areka. That that's actually the the, 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 the the title, not the one, not not the later one on 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 Titi Marai. Yeah, he he's right. He, he's right he to to go and keep jamming the flag on that side. Yeah, so it was a land sale right then when that when I was saying that the, the captain got off the ship and and put the title there because it was already re preset. It was already they already had the document ready here when they got here there right then. At those navy people, right? Every, everything is the navy is, is the mortgage lien. It's it's the money side. Which, yeah, it's the navy. The navy is the one that says the king owns the land or the queen owns the land. So, so we just snap, yeah. We just snap the navy, yeah. So, so that means um, Bruce will come back up again and do his thing. But this time we 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 we've got all everybody on side. Yeah, I did, but but he couldn't come up. But but on on February the sixth, you and him will, will, will tie it together with the native court with Manahi, and 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 Willie. Willie, Willie's got another native court up, uh, judge up there. This, this that Tangari is, is uh, his uh, cousin. She's in the in, in the president of the Watangi Tribunal. You see, so so that ties in with being native with the right things to say. And and yeah, I'll get him to call you again and, and wait on and and try to uh, uh, see if he can connect. Okay, oh, okay, All right, yeah. A 
Have I got his number? Yeah, I got his number. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, hang on, where is it? Where is it? Oh, shucks. Oh, it's in my phone. I can't see it. I'll, I'll text it to you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, um, what has to happen is you've got to wait around for a little while, about a half a minute, before his phone kicks in. I don't, I don't know what it is, but he's going to ring you. He's got... Hey? Now. I just got off the phone to him now. Okay. There, that's um, Willie Pater. Uh, I have great confidence in Willie Pater and Kohipa. I have great confidence in him as well, um, but I just wanted to keep cool on how I present myself as being a surrogate king than anybody telling me what to do. I, I don't have to be subjected to anybody other than to, to um, address the British end of the private contract with uh, King William IV. So to um, um, Hohepa, Hohepa, uh, I, I'm willing to um, scribe for you. In the meantime, um, um, what happens in, in meetings that we have since um, Friday, the 28th of October, I've written it all up now and typed it all up. I'll send it to you, and um, um, uh, of of what transpired because you, you weren't there on the Friday. Uh, so um, uh, that'll bring you up to date there and what you've told me on um, the Saturday at um, uh, Matatua uh, Hui in Paratane that uh, Jamie and I attended. So I want to keep in with Matatua now. It's very important that I uh, stick with um, uh, Jim Wikotu and the Navy side of the flag that he's uh, being passionate about with um, 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 Mapiria, Hohepa, uh, over the years. Uh, Hohepa Mapiria, over the years, uh, that I've been involved with uh, Mapiria, and he wanted me to run the incorporations. 
but I was doing the um, uh, Japan seaweed uh, venture at the time I went to Japan instead of the uh, um, spending too much time on the incorporations. And although I'm the chairman of our Portikirua Ki Waiapu incorporation at um, uh, East Cape and Lotton Point, uh, uh, Marangaro and Blocks, uh, uh, down to Port Awanui and Rotoria on a land block stair, land blocks at uh, Te Araro, land blocks at East Cape, and um, Lodden Point uh, to um, uh, Omaya, to Apotiki, to uh, Mahia, uh, um, Wairo, uh, land blocks there, and back to uh, Whakangiang. Uh, Te Araro East Coast. So I'm on a few land blocks right around the area of the Te Taira uh, political uh, boundary of the four regions of the native government. Now um, uh, I'm just talking to these two chiefs. Hohep has gone overseas uh, for his birthday holiday and uh, be away for two or three days um, in Australia and Hawaii, I think. Um, good luck to him. But when he comes back, he'll be refreshed to carry on his job. In the meantime, I'm, I'm going to say this publicly to everyone watching uh, around the world, uh, that um, uh, as far as uh, Kingi is concerned, Kingi Tauru, he is the oldest um, uh, chief on the um, Ngāti Rehia blocks at Kororareka and also on the um, Ngāti Rahiri and Ngāti Kawa land blocks at Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, as we um, call it now, where we already opened up that court for our hearings um, on the 28th of October and also on the 10th of uh, April of each year. These are the anniversaries of these, these, these times we have our court hearings there. Uh, so the first one is, is the 10th of March um, of each year for the Navy's first arrival from Britain. The first title uh, in Kororareka, Russell, and the first government here in this country from Britain, straight from Britain, there. Okay, so that's where we start that anniversary, 10th of April of each year. And then the 28th of October to, 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 uh, each year is the Confederation's uh, Declaration of Independence Day. Uh, that's in that order. Kuru first of that flag, um, uh, 1834 part of the flag, and the 1835, 28th of October, that, that day, and the 6th of February, which is Waitangi New Zealand Day. So those three are the anniversary days that we're celebrating our flag. Uh, so um, uh, the next anniversary after this 28th has just gone past, for the record, is that we're going into the Waitangi Marae on the 6th of February as a native court with judges and myself sheriff and our flag and the ship of Admiralty to Britain outside. That's second Ship, second mortgage land. Ship, first mortgage land is on Kororareka on Mikey Hill. The ship mast of the British ship and their British flag and our flag. The um, 1834 part of that flag. That's the British legalised as being the flag of New Zealand. Okay? The 1835 Declaration of Independence flag was gazetted in Australia. New South Wales government through Wellington, John Key's government. Okay? So that came later. But the moment the British put their flag up on 1834, 20th of March 1834, that became a British government jurisdiction of Admiralty from the captain of the ship of the Admiralty ship Fortitude, um, which was in the harbour, came in, and Captain J.R. Clinton. At the same time, the HMS Alligator was there um, and let off the guns on that ship, 21 guns salute. So that 
uh, Captain on that ship. I just can't think of his name at the moment, but um, uh, he did the honours of letting off those 21 gun salute. I'll put it with the video who it was. I uh, just can't think offhand what, what, the, what the name is. I'll, I'll have it in a minute somehow. Uh, and so that formed the um, uh, sale and purchase agreement of a crown title from Britain, direct. Okay, first mortgage. Then the 1835, the 28th just sort of gone past last week, there's the second mortgage of that British ship, next British ship that turned up there. Okay, so that, that that's the basis of our native court setting inside that Marae, straight to Britain, straight around the world. Okay, so my job, I just want to let the Taumata know and, and Matatu, uh, chiefs at Whakatane in the, in the uh, Marae there, at Wairaka, uh, that between them and Napui, and the northern tribes from Hauraki, this is the way this flag works. All flags are the connection from one country to the other in trade and as such an authority of some sort. So this is the only king's flag in the world that has come straight out of Westminster with King William straight here, straight to the chiefs and that's it. It was set up to protect our trade between here and Britain, nowhere else, just between here and Britain, it's still there. I'm saying to Hohepa, I'm not subjected to anyone to report what I do. What I do is already in trade. It's already been set long ago with Mohi Manukau, okay, and the Manukau Land Company titles. The government shifted from Kororareka down to Auckland. And that's where the Manukau Land Company titles took over all the rest of the New South Wales titles, seized them all, and reissued them. We are just about to seize them all again with the same uh, native court this time. Okay, not 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 the British authorities. This is straight contract as partner to notify the British Secretary of Defence and the British Government, uh, Theresa May, Prime Minister that we are uh, nominating uh, King Ernest Augustus V as King of England on the throne. It's going to come from that native court and we're enforcing the laws 1830-1837, King William IV, and back, back as far as King William III and the eight-point star of St. Patrick's Order here as our authority of the New World Order, okay? So that's another court hearing on a, in our native court in that Marae. The Marae is the highest court in these lands, and that one in particular is the highest court in the world, as far as monarchies go, because the Queen has put her Governor General in charge of that Marae. Now I'm going there to England to sack her from our trust, the Queen Victoria Trust. Now that's where Kingy is a direct descendant of Queen Victoria and King Edward, um, brother. Okay, so he has his place, even though he's not appearing very much on the Tomata, he has that position as a military man in the army here to communicate at that level without being on the Tomata. He has an inherent right to that trust claim on behalf of the natives here. That's the money side, right? This, this, the, the, the Taumata here is dealing with the everyday issues in the Titi Marae for John Key's government to settle the accounts that way, but not in Westminster. That's my job. And I didn't have to say much more than Kingi is like a prime minister um, that gives me authority to go straight there. It's already got that from Peter Apiata, already already had the uh, mandate to go way back when Mohi gave me the mandate to speak for the Manukau Land Company and the Manukau family here and down in Waikato, Auckland and down in Waikato and in the Kaipara Harbour. So I have all his information here that 
um, supports what I'm saying about his family, apart from my own family, the Wanganoa family, the Damao I sat. Okay, that's the native mana whenua, uh, memorial to the land. Now Mohi's memorial is the Kafaru Jajan plaque on One Tree Hill over the top of Auckland. That's his title and his um, uh, Moriori's uh, in uh, Kaipara is the carving that I have uh, pictures of and the family there has, has the carving still in their custody. All right? It's got the four tribes of, uh, uh, on it and I've got all the history in my head about that. That's a parliament. Okay? There was an, a native parliament set up with that carving they found in the, in the harbour. So all the history I've got here and recorded um, in, in videos with Mohi Mankia. So to whoever, uh, I know all these things right back, right back over 20 years, stored in my head how this connection between the British king and the native Hapu here, Rangatera, formed themselves to keep that flag of a private contract going. Okay. Mohi Manika was the president president of the Confederation of Chiefs. That's in that TT Marae uh, side. That's on the Queen's Bench side, and not on the other side, the King's Bench side. Nobody's there. Okay. I've opened that up in what I collate as being uh, fact, uh, fact uh, evidence um, to um, substantiate or. Uh, prove beyond a doubt uh, that we are acting um, on the King's behalf here uh, as surrogate to like the captain on the ship. Right? The ship is outside the mast and I'm standing there with the Navy, but the Navy didn't turn up. You see? The Navy didn't turn up. The Waitangi National Trust didn't turn up to open the gate. So, you know, that puts on us a, a negative as far as not taking us seriously. They'll have to take us seriously on the 6th of February when they have to go in that marae. And Sunakura, she's uh, a married government prime minister, is another kettle of fish again. As far as I'm concerned, she's still the old Glass Murray uh, Confederation, which is modified now into the Whakaminia, going ahead of that. So um, I'll make this point quite clear that the Whakaminia is the 20th of March. 1834, Captain Clinton stamped his foot down and said the land belongs to the king. That was a mortgage, first mortgage land over the whole country title, that one title. <coughs> That's being put together by two native chiefs. Hongi uh, was was on the military side or the uh, British uh, conquering side and Tira Waikato Wharaherehere Manukau was doing the native land titles, native bank, and the power note, that sort of um, mentality and, and brain um, learning in Cambridge University in England. So they learnt English, they learnt, um, he learnt English, and Hongi Heka learnt English, but Hongi Heka was only interested in the market, the muskets, and conquering the land. That's what the British were doing, conquer land, and the land commissioner or, or native land court um, uh, commissioner puts the titles together and that's where the native title was formed. That's why the ships went all over the world with that title, native title, um, on behalf of King William the Fourth at that time. Okay, so now uh, forever, I'll give you the information but I'm standing alone, standing aside as being the surrogate to speak for the ship of natives ship um, to the British ship outside. That's the British ship. So it's got its captain. The captain didn't show up. See? After all the advertising on my sites, 68 websites on Facebook, nobody turned up for the British. I rang the British High Commission and no one turned up. They didn't take it seriously. It's starting to take serious uh, uh, consequences, like serious consequences of not appearing in court. John Key has to come in court 
because I've already s stated quite clearly in front of the Taumata and the chiefs there in Congress assembled on the 28th that the chiefs um, can terminate the land occupation targets. You see? So, to the Navy. The Navy is holding the title to these lands, okay? And all over the world, the Navy is holding the titles where their ship came in with the guns on it, okay? The King's guns, not the Queen's guns, the King's guns of his commerce, King's commerce. Okay, so I just want to, I just want to make that point quite clear that I will scribe for you um, Koheba and um, I will scribe for our own Maui Crown King William Trust. My Crown King William the Fourth Trust. That trust is seizing on Queen Victoria's trust, and the um, uh, revenue where where that's gone, and who 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 is using our flag without our uh, Rangatira and chiefs' uh, consent inside that marae. Okay, but that I'm um, investigating. As a sheriff, as a sheriff, the uh, New Zealand Trust, the uh, Government Trust Office in Wellington, and Invest New Zealand, Invest um, uh, Intuition New Zealand Company, New Zealand Invest Company here, yeah, and all its books. All right, I'm going to investigate John Key and his uh, Waitangi National Trust on its books and its authority, how they are using Vice Admiral for their own private financial investment interests and not of the public of New Zealand and the native chiefs, Rangatara. Okay, so that's really what I'm doing, however, it's beyond what anybody is capable of doing without these Manukau titles and without the Ututonga titles in Waitaki. I'm saying those titles are the certificates of titles that I'm holding here straight to Britain. Okay, no one's got them. No one's got them. That's Henry Williams family and the Uchitonga family in Waitangi. Alright? No one's going to argue about that. You can bring all your chiefs up and somebody just uh, put Patuoni chief in front of me and says I haven't got the mandate from them. Now this is not about mandates. This is about the flag and what it does. It's, it's a mortgage lien. The money side is nothing to do here. It's British. Okay, in the partnership with the bank. Now, if you haven't got all those, the bank instruments, the, the, the title, the memorials to the land, the certificate of titles, those are private. Nobody's allowed to see those. That's Manukau's business. Manukau family and the Uchitong family I hold in trust is nobody's business to see. I don't have to make those public. I've got them here straight to go to Westminster and put them in front of the Westminster government and say, I'm here. On behalf of the Manukau's, the Wanaos, and the Maui statue, and the Ututonga title in Waitangi where the Marae sits. Okay, that's all I have to do. And the chief. The king is the chief. He can talk for Queen Victoria Trust, where all that money's gone, and the Queen Elizabeth uh, Trust Fund, where all that money's gone, and all of her private businesses. We're, we're going to account for it. Just the same as the FBI is doing in America. No different from the CIB here in New Zealand and the chief. So Donald Trump in, in America and Trey Gowdy and uh, Jason um, Chaff Chaffers is uh, pulling uh, the capel and the elite um, federal state government of the Queen, right? she owns that, and, and, and America and all the land she says she owns 66 million acres and New Zealand is just part of it. I'll just say to you, um, Hohepa and all the Tomata at uh, Waitangi, that New Zealand is only 1% of the 100%. That's what the government here, John Key, is settling only on the 1% of the whole world of where the other 99% has disappeared inside this King William and King Victoria Trust. And also the Admiralty mortgage liens, where that went to, into the um, Federal State and, and the U United States is cash cow. The United States is just a dumping ground for cash cow on that native land 
that this native title and these two chiefs, Kumihika and Te Rewaikato Wharaherehere Manukau, went to England to set up the native court of Auckland. America, Canada, Australia, Africa, New Zealand, uh, India, uh, all the Pacific Islands, all, all those countries where the Queen has gone and corrupted the King's Bench Court title. So we're going to the native court in the Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, to hold them to account, starting with John Key and then right around the world to all the other countries where the Queen has gone, including Obama. He's on the rocks now. Obama and Clinton is giving court self-destructing and Russia is ready to pull the plug and fire at uh, uh, the Vatican and Israel and all those people who are causing the ISIS problems. And that's America did that. It's caught now. It's the WikiLeaks have caught them and other you know, uh, on, uh, anonymous um, social media um, exposure. And what I have on social media is showing up what they've already proven to be fraud and corruption of the system of government and parliaments. The parliaments are owned by the Vatican, the Pope, and the Pope's in the fraud too. So all I'm saying to you, whoever, I've got all that on my plate, apart from the 1% here in the Marae that's running the whole 100% of the world from there under the Queen's orders. Okay? They're using our flag on the crossbar on that Marae for all the native countries in the world. They call native indigene. Yeah, in Australia they call them Aborigine, but it's origine. Origini or uh, indigeni, one of those two. Origini or indigeni is the correct uh, um, term for the natives of that year and that era time. Okay, when the kings and queens were mingling amongst our native people in the Pacific. Okay, so they brought their god here. We already had Maui spirit. Uh, and the Queen came and took the Maui statue to London, that took it out of my own royal family. We have our own royal families. The King has got his own royal family here, King Kuhaiki and Tainui. So he's got his King, he, he doesn't have to worry about any other King. And King in his own right is a King, uh, as much as he wants to call himself a King. He does at times, and and so uh, his name is on the, on the records. I'll, I'll put his name on the records all the way through. I can't just suddenly put somebody else's name there and replace them on these documents. It's fixed. It's fixed to Queen Victoria. And there's no one else that's going to stand there and tell me that they come under the Victoria line at this late stage because their name is not on the documents that I've sent to Britain and to Westminster and the government. So as far as I'm concerned, um, although Kingi is limited on how much time he spends on the Tomata, his name is down in history. It's recorded on my documents. That's tied to the Manukau title, to the Waikato Whareherere Manukau, for the whole world. Okay, that that's where the bank is in Te Waikato, uh, and not so much uh, Hunghika. Hunghika was the battle man with the muskets went around shooting everybody up under the orders of the British and King William government, okay? the military, was there with him to show him how to pull the trigger and shoot people instead of using a club to close combat. You can stand from a distance and shoot them down. That's what happened there. He was only there to conquer the lands for the sake of the British uh, government in Westminster. So I'm accounting for that side, but in particular the Manukau uh, Land Company in Scotland that put these titles together in this country, okay? In Mohi Manukau, that's what I'm saying. I stood up in front of them and told them I'm doing Mohi Manukau's history, and as far as I'm concerned, supersedes every other title to Britain, okay? All the titles here at the moment are sitting, apart from a few more crown titles there, and the John Keyes government is trying to settle Ngāpui with their treaty claim. When they settle, they are settled out of the contract. They're out of the... Well, Tangi Marae, King's Bench Court, on the other side, straight to Britain. They're out. 
they're only going to remain with 1%. I know who they are. I know who's settling, and they're out. As far as I'm concerned, forever, they're out. Every tribe, Iwi, Maori, who settles, settles for the 1%. And the other 99% is what I'm going after. Where we all went to, and we still have a stake in that. Only these whakaminia, and nobody else. Right? They're the ones that signed the contract, nobody else. They went there as that northern tribes group under that board fell to. That part, uh, however, is not for anybody to inquire into where that went to Westminster because they wouldn't know what to do with those documents. And I don't need to be told what to do or what to say or go and do it. I'm already doing it. And I've already got notice back from Matt Taylor in, in England that. I'm there as the king. Really, I'm there as the surrogate captain of the ship of the natives, for the, all the natives in the world, to nominate a British king in to Westminster. And I'll just stay as king of our business. Okay? On a ship. When we get a ship ready to fly in disguise on hydrogen from the water from the Maui Tata Energy Project. That's looming in the background. We won't put anything. Now those people who want to know about what the Moai tidal turbines is, it's not going to go to water until the flag is finally in control of the water where it's gone. Okay, that's why I've held off so long, even with the shares. Now we're one of a trillion shares registered here in the Na Atua Ewa Aotea Limited Company in New Zealand. That's Na Atua Ewa Aotea, four corners of the earth in Aotea, New Zealand. That name out here is a waka ship, okay? So that's that registered company in New Zealand law. Now, the other company in England is the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited. It's one of a billion shares of one of the countries, the 25th countries in the world, with a billion shares on each country, right? So that 25 pounds a share puts up the debtors levy instruments against all the fraudsters inside this John Key government and the rest of the corrupted countries in the world will get the same treatment as what we're going to do here with the CIB and with what um, Craig Gowdy and Jason Chaffers uh, is doing to the CIA, FBI in, and the CIA in America. Okay, All the fraud and corruption on the Queen's side is going to come to a screeching halt and Moai steps in with the flag and kicks her out before she dies. She'll die right on the last day when she's arrested and hung. Okay? It's up to the people. If I say hang her and they say no, spare her, the well is up to the people to say that. But the majority of people know that she has given the consent of this King's Admiralty to Obama, to the Pope, to the Rothschild banks, to everybody, the Saudis, so that they can use it against us and call us pirates. Now they're the pirates. However, I'm dealing with all of that magnitude of information that nobody's allowed to inquire into that privacy. Admiralty is mortgage lien private contract in a story. The Queen, no one can inquire into her business because she's using this King's Admiralty. She's not an Admiral. She's not an Admiral. Neither is any other Queen an Admiral. The Admiral comes from the man on the ship, the Captain, the man. Okay? The same as Moai is man. God's law is man's law. L-O-R-E. That's in Raiate Island, Tahiti, and in Rapa Nui, East Island, to Mokonui on my land blocks. The Marangaro land blocks at East Cape. And Tipito there. Birth of not in New Zealand, to Tipito on Rapa Nui, the birth of the world. Okay? In the story. That's the title. That title and the King's title and the Moai title go together. Okay, and Ed Star is the St. Patrick's Church order in Dublin that goes into Westminster Parliament, and that's the Church Parliament going into the um, uh, Legislative Parliament, from Church Parliament into Legislative Westminster um, uh, Parliament, and um, the different countries, right, well, from Ireland to Britain, which is four countries, 
uh, Scotland, Ireland, uh, Northern Ireland, England and Wales. Now Northern Ireland's gone, Ireland's gone, Scotland's going, and that'll leave just England, Wales and Alti New Zealand and Pacific Islands. There, three. Three of the brand new um, um, formation of this King's Bench Court and, and, and the new King. We're nominating King Ernest Augustus. Okay, uh, got that? Uh, Woody uh, and um, uh, Jim, uh, my my two confidence uh, chiefs. I can talk to quite uh, quite easily and understand what I'm saying. I need those two because they're talking the spiritual side of our existence here uh, as being. I have confidence in them to say what I say and to stick to what I say for the British to accept us finally still in contract, unbroken sovereignty of our own and continuity of sovereignty to King William IV's sovereignty, bloodlines to King Ernest Augustus, the same bloodlines on that side, not the Queen's uh, King George side, but on the King William, uh, King George III side. Um, so you've got King George the Third, King George the uh, uh, King George the Third, father of King George the Fourth, those two kings, and King Ernest Augustus, and uh, King William. There, those those kings, four kings, um, that forms our basis of this inheritance. Uh, and it points out King William the Third to Saint Patrick's order. Uh, he into Westminster, that Parliament, and set it up for us. Okay, that's all. So, uh, one more time. The Taumata on Titi Marae is in the Queen's Bench Court area. I said that to them, and they have to deal with the land here, not the west of the world. They're only dealing with the home fires, Hokanga, and the Rangatira, and incorporations, to run the business on the land, remembering that the rest of the country doesn't follow what they say. It's a different kettle of fish with them, how they live. The Americans, Australians, uh, South Africans, uh, Chinese, um, Indians, and uh, mixed up with the Maoris. That was created, the Maoris was created amongst that lot on this Titi Marae. It can't take its titles on the other side in the King's Bench Court. That's straight native Maori, indigenous natives, and King William the Fourth jurisdiction of mortgage lands and banknotes and commerce and um, the flag issues of trade and development and financial instruments to go around the world from there to Westminster and around the world. So that's the first one. Okay. So, see so that's um, that's all I want to say for now on this video. Have a nice day. I'll see you later.